ends the sight. Prepare for another all night. On the talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Big story here um, out of Steubenville, Ohio, involving some um, young teenage people. I'm not sure how many people started to follow this story. The trial kind of really came up into the last couple weeks. The backdrop to this is um, not that any of us would even know Steubenville, Ohio, uh, but for Steubenville, Ohio, they have a really organized and good high school football program. And allegedly, not anymore, they were found guilty. In August of last year, Mm -hmm. two players from the Steubenville football team, Trent Mays and Malik Richmond, raped a girl. And the issue came into, she was a 16-year-old girl. Now, mind you, they're 16 and 17, so they're all under the age of 18. The girl came across from actually West Virginia, came across the Ohio River to party in Steubenville. And turns out she says that she was sexually assaulted. Now, the backdrop to this story is she comes to Steubenville with some friends to party. She's drinking, goes back home, sees a picture of herself on Twitter, and does not recall the events of the evening and reports it as sexual assault. So then she pressed charges. So then obviously this goes to trial and the, the verdict came back actually today that interesting enough, the two boys are gonna get one year in a youth correction facility okay. as their jail time. And then the actual youth that posts the picture will get an additional year for putting nude pictures on Twitter. Wow, he gets a year for that? Well, they're all minors. Now here's, wow. Alexis and I were talking about this as we were actually coming back from the Chicago Steam game. Okay. And I said, I have very mixed emotions on this for a couple different reasons. One, there are minors that were all intoxicated. It it goes in to say that multiple people saw this girl who she wasn't from Steubenville, intoxicated at one point. She had her shirt off in the street. Someone did this for her because she was actually throwing up. And so she went throw up on her shirt. Someone took her shirt off. Um, I guess she was just absolutely wasted. Other teammates actually walked in on the scene with these two boys being sexually engaged with her, saw her laying there, but left. And what comes out in this article, and I'm gonna, it's posted actually on the Sports Cipher page, is that within Steubenville, there's a culture where it's known that these kids drink. They may stay out to two, three, four in the morning, not come home, just go stay at a friend's house, mm-hmm. that you know, they could be pulled over by the police and they just kind of get a, a, a brief slap on the hand and sent home. So this was a culture they're saying within Steubenville because this, this football program, program does really well and they actually send a lot of kids to, to college that they're just kind of looked at as celebrities in this small town. So this town was facilitating this behavior overall. That's the first major issue with this. Mm-hmm. The second issue I have though is the fact that this girl could look on Twitter, not recall the night, and assume that she must have been assaulted. Now, I guess the incriminating evidence was in the pictures, she didn't look like she was aware or cognizant, but she looked like she was kind of out of it. But pretty much their conviction comes from this because there was obviously no way that she could say, she said yes or no, and and Lexis and I, we argued about this. I said, well, if she doesn't recall the night, how does she know she said yes or no? The boys were equally as impaired as she was, and she'd never claimed to be assaulted until she saw the pictures on Twitter. So hence, in her mind, she went to Steubenville, had a good time, came home. Oh, wait. Did you see those pictures of Twitter? What are you talking about? Oh, I don't recall this. Embarrassment is what you're saying then. And, you know, and, and let's decide. We went head to head on this. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm not saying that what they did was right. But at the same time, if she doesn't recall the events of the evening, how does she know she didn't say yes or that she flat out said no? Were there any DNA testing? Oh, there's no doubt. There was sexual okay, intercourse right. involved. It wasn't like there, it wasn't. It that sounds was, like they went off the pictures pretty much. There was no, that's, what I, well, that's what I asked. Well, here's the thing. There were multiple people that reported that they saw her. She was drunk. One, one of the other teammates actually walked in on the, on the activity and mm-hmm. said that he did, said that he saw them engaged with her, that she was laying there and left. So there's no doubt that the activity happened. But obviously, the teammate did not look at it as rape. He said he looked and he left because within this town, this culture – is totally acceptable. It's he figured not, it was, he, she was just getting down. That's, that's how, and, and every kid that, that talked about the events of the evening saw it as kids partying. Like, this isn't common. This happens frequently. So they don't see it as being a sexual assault. Now, granted, I think they got off kind of easy, if you think about it. One year in a youth yes, correctional facility, yes. an additional year for one of the players, obviously, for the putting, posting you know, pictures on Twitter. And what's interesting, shame on him, because had he not posted the pictures on Twitter, None of he it. might not be spending a year in yeah. jail. Yeah. None of it would have happened, though, based on what your, the story is saying, because 
she didn't say anything until she saw the picture. Right. And that's and that's a part for me that makes this difficult. And I, I'm very, uh, I, I'm very supportive when when a woman is truly a victim of rape. It's not something to take lightly. But I also don't like when the basis comes from, well, I don't remember the events, so maybe I didn't say yes. But that doesn't mean you didn't say yes. And they were also impaired as well. So you're not talking about two boys that were, they were, you know, actually not so, they were sober and took advantage of her. They were intoxicated as well. Because the fact of them being intoxicated and the way the story is playing out is the reason why I only have, they only got one year. It probably, Possibly. I think that that greatly sp- plays into it. But I'm just mm-hmm. curious how people think of this. If, you know, I, obviously, I mean, here, here's the other downside to this is whether they did it or not as an assault, they are now labeled as rapists. Yes, their life will never be the same. Yeah, no never. Matter. I guess, I guess that according to the article, they were very promising football players, were going to be going to college, had a bright future. And I'm not saying it can't happen still, but... But they're probably going to be registered sex offenders, right? Well, that's the other thing, too. They actually have to register have as to sex reg- offenders. Yeah, and that's to. my other issue. I'm like, these two boys were actually under the age of 18, mm-hmm. but now they have to register as sex offenders. So to me, there's a lot that goes into this that changes the landscape of their future. And then the other thing that was difficult about this, and I definitely want to hear from you guys, Mm -hmm. you know, call in if you've got any opinion, 773-591-1690. A father of one of the convicted boys of um, Malik Richmond gets into saying, I feel like this is my fault because I was an absentee father. And because I wasn't there, this is why this happened because of me. No. Well, nah. I'm curious. So wh- what's your thoughts on this? I don't necessarily agree with that. That could happen. That's you've seen stuff like that with people that come from quote unquote great homes. That's true. You know, with both parents and good money and all the above, it could be, it could have been something else that went on in these kids' eyes. But and you, it, well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But no, go ahead. Go, go no, I was going to say, but you also have to factor in because I know he's probably feeling a lot of remorse. So, not remorse, but guilt about it. You know, if you do raise your child well. They probably won't do things like this. So I, I, I can kind of see where he's coming from. It's a yes and no thing because, yeah. understand, social context is very heavy here. You had a community that fostered this behavior. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just these two boys. Mm-hmm. This entire community allowed this to happen. Kids were underage drinkers, staying out to like 3 in the morning, not coming home. Um, you know, it, it was known that these kind of parties and the sexual activity was going on. So I think this goes a little bit further than just if you're raised right, if a entire community accepts that this is okay, why would a 16 or 17-year-old boy function outside well, of that Farouk, social construct? Well, Farouk, maybe he feels as if that he should have sheltered him from that environment. I don't know. I'm sure he, he, he feels right. a lot I of mean, guilt it, about But if this. he's going to be participating in Get sports. Get a 16-year-old kid. Yeah, participating in sports and going to parties, you're going to come across, not maybe not things this severe, but uh-huh. you'll come across the partying you know, mm-hmm. that goes, uh, goes along with, you know, being, playing in team sports. What I'm curious about, and I know this probably doesn't have too much to do with it, what's the um, racial component background of these people? Obviously, the girl was not revealed. Just the two boys. Yeah, she can't be. Yeah. She can't be revealed because she's technically a minor, so we don't know who she is. Um, we just, But we do know that the identity of the two boys, they're African American. No, 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 one boy's white. I'm, I'm sorry, one's white. So yeah. we do know okay. one their, boy, white, one boy their white. racial okay. compositions. But yeah. other than okay. that, you know, and I don't think this is – you can't throw that in there. No, yeah. I, I, I don't just, think you can. I don't was, think you can. Just was wondering. Yeah. 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 Just curious. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I look at this whole case and I say, it's really sad. I, I do definitely think they got off easy with all things considered, but it definitely is going to change everything about the rest of their lives. Oh, yeah, definitely. And they're minors, too. So I don't think they would, they're not going to hit, you know, 18 or unders with that type of time that the normal offense like this would get. But mm-hmm. the whole thing about having to register as a sex offender, that's, that's the part that no matter where you go, where you live, you have to be registered in that community as a sex offender. Unless yes. it's a part of that law or the fact that you have to register that you can get that off your name. I don't know. No. Maybe somebody can call. You yeah, can't at yeah. all? It's once you get that label. That's it. That's it. That's the scarlet letter. That's the scarlet Exactly. Wow. So I'm like, to me, that this is, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at that because with them being minors, the fact that they would actually take it to that extreme to say that they're sex offenders because technically they're both minors. I'm not saying they didn't rape her, even though we weren't there, and we don't know really what happened. Mm -hmm. We don't know if she said yes, if she said no. All she knows is that she doesn't recall the events of the night. The other thing that bothers me about this, too, is why is a 16-year-old girl gone from home that long and her parents not wonder where she is? We already said that's the culture of the the – well, not neighborhood, but the culture of that particular part. I think the parents probably have more to do with the girl – 
than these guys, though, the pr- parenting, I should say, because that's a great point. You know, that's a great point. What What she doing out for so long out there by herself being a minor? You know what I mean? So if you're going to look at anybody's parents, you probably – which is, is going to sound unfair, but mm-hmm. you probably should be looking at this, you know, young girl's parents. I think me, me, uh, Farouk, this Demas, uh, we can talk about it a little bit more because of the girls, because we have daughters. Now, my yeah. daughter's only ten months, but you have how old's, how old's your little Eight. girl? Eight. Eight so, old. yeah, fathers are going to really yeah. hover over their daughters to make sure exactly. nothing even and gets close to them. And what's interesting, boys are a little bit more freely. Yeah. I know that's unfair. That's just how it is. It's just how, how it is. How the culture in Steubenville is so just corrupted. While she was sick on the side of a curb throwing up. There was a kid who said, I'll give anybody $3 if you come over here and urinate on her. Oh, oh wow. So, I mean, when I talk about These the culture. These kids wow. I mean, I, I'm saying it's like, the, the I just can't believe that this kind of behavior. And, and the thing is, this was reported during court. No one tried to shelter this or even say that it didn't happen. Wow. Students came in and testified about the events of the night. Somebody trying to R. Kelly the girl. As if to say, <laughs> as if it's it's so socially acceptable there oh, that man. just they're so out of control and wild. Didn't MTV have that crazy West Virginia show that's supposed to come on? And oh. I think the I think some maybe some politicians in that area got it shut down, but it's going to be about these West Virginia kids. And it's just supposed to be out here like just wilding out. I'll so maybe what. this isn't that uncommon. Yeah, Apparently, from just reading this, it must be like that. Well, if, plus if Steubenville is that close to West Virginia, I already have some questions about that. It's right across area. the river. <laughs> yeah.